Ladies and gentlemen, this is Splatterpunk, and we're going to be playing uh, one of my favorite little horror games I found over the last years. It hasn't really aged well, but I can't help but love it. We're going to play Clive Barker's Undying. Clive Barker is probably one of my favorite horror writers. He did Hellraiser. I, I, I worship Hellraiser, Nightbreed, all those, some of my favorite movies he's ever uh, done. And I've read Hellbound Heart, I've read the Books of Blood, I love everything he's done. And they did this game around 2000, I believe, and it's called Clive Barker's Undying. And we're going to start. Uh, going to set this to medium, and watch the cutscene. Ah, uh, I'm tired of traveling, or fighting superstition and its many manifestations even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism. Little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believed there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Tresanti were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. Not exactly great walking animation there, but hey, this is a, this, this is one of the, you know, early games. And anyway, we're going to be continuing on to hit F3. And, well, I'll just hold that up for a few minutes as you read. You guys get, uh, you know, it's very simple. We get a couple, uh, very simple game each time. An old friend and commanding. So, yeah, uh, weapons I have. I have the Gil Gilzea Burst Stone. Uh, I don't know. Good old revolver. Ooh, some of the spells I have. Scry. Remembrances, I guess, is my own, uh, my own stuff. For a game that's, you know, screams 19, uh, 1990s technology, early 2000s, I can't help but love that. Okay, that's actually kind of creepy. I like I, I like what they've done so far. I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah is now bedridden. Excuse me, ladies Follow and gentlemen. Me and I'll show you to his living quarters. <laughs> show you to his living quarters. And I'll be the first one the to get pounced by some house, horrible monster. But only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. Creepy manner, creepy manner. This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. 
Thanks, Miss Exposition. Let's just stop right there for some random reason. Oh, okay, just walk on ahead. Hi! Hi, buddy. That was awkward. Okay, buddy. All right, no need to... Okay, okay, shit. Okay, someone decided to go full on, uh... Okay, someone's decided to go on full centibite here. Patrick, you made it. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been <laughs> abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the hell was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. Yeah, this is, uh, that I want looks to get like to a the family, uh, oh but God. I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. The red-headed guy, I'm relying on you Mr. Broadshoulders there, is creeping me out. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. I'll check it out. Lock the door. I'll use me. my comically large revolver on them. All right. Let's see what's in here. Won't budge. No. Jammed. Oh, that's good. Oh, hey, I forgot. Yeah, that's my magic power. I can scry things. Hi. Hi, buddy. Okay, so you're just gonna fly it around and laugh maniacally. Okay, that sounds like something a Scooby-Doo ghost would do, not something that is a product of an ancient horrible curse, but... I don't want to go in here, but it seems I have to. Hi. There you are again. Can you describe what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. Okay, that... Oh, hey, I think that's ammo. Yeah, ammo. Nothing... There's nothing in here other than that creepy guy. So... Yep, nothing in here with my scry. wonder what's in here. Oh, hey, health. I don't know why I would need health, but... I'm not afraid to carry around extra stuff. Oh, hey. Hi, buddy. Oh, that's one handsome devil there. Okay, that's not good. Oh, shit, what are you? Shit. God, they got the they got the maid pretty badly. Oh shit! Come on, stay still and die. Just making sure. Apparently, I can't reload early. At least I don't know how to. Okay, the 
this is kind of creepy. Won't budge. No thanks. Stuck. I gotta say, for 90s computing, this is actually pretty good. Wait, is that? Yep, it's one of them. Yep, that worked out just fine. Oh, help me. Hi. Hey. Those beasts were after me. What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers. And while I've never seen one before tonight, I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're no fighting shit. more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this isle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones, something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. <laughs> My family has come I've seen the redhead. Me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of the Gelzebar on it. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them and put an end to this mess. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our first video. We're going to continue playing later on. Uh, I really want to show this game to you because I really love it. This is, uh, this is Hollow Point, or Splatterpunk, whatever the ali alias I want to go by today. Let's go with Splatterpunk. I'll see you guys later. You have a nice day. Bye.